If you're looking for a simple solution to budgeting and are wondering if Tiller Money is the solution for you, I show you the basics of how to connect all of your accounts with Tiller Money, how to get set up and make your very first budget. And the great thing is it only takes a few minutes to get started. Tiller Money automatically tracks your financial life for you in private spreadsheets, either in Google Sheets or Excel that you can manage and own and operate. So once you're at your homepage here, it's gonna say welcome to you. And I've already set up actually a couple budgets here and connected some accounts, but you can add accounts down here and you can do your credit card accounts, you can do banking accounts, checking and savings accounts, a bunch of different accounts. They're really easy to connect. Essentially you connect them through like your mobile banking. And I haven't had a bank account from even like a local bank that I wasn't able to connect here. So chances are you'll be able to connect whatever bank account you have to Tiller Money. And then once you're ready, you can go here and create a spreadsheet. Tiller Money works in both Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. I am a Google Sheets user. And so that's what we're gonna use today. And so I've already connected my accounts. And again, that's something that you're gonna have to do. I'm not gonna walk you through on how to connect my accounts, but it's really simple and easy to use. And then once you're ready to create your spreadsheet, you will have this load up and you're gonna click up here, use template. They use the same template for all of this. It is their Tiller Foundation template and then it has a bunch of add-ons that you can use from there to start simplifying the process. All right, so we've got your Tiller Foundation template here and feel free to rename this whatever you want it. I think I named mine Griffin Tiller Budget. And again, we've got walkthrough step-by-step directions on how to get this set up. As with any budget, whether you're making a budget from scratch in Google Sheets or Excel, I've actually got a video on that, how to make a 50, 30, 20 budget for yourself. Or if you're downloading a different budget template or if you're using Tiller or a different budgeting software, it always takes time to set up whatever budgeting software you're using and Tiller's no different. So there's a few steps that we're gonna take here to get you set up so you can start using your Tiller budget. All right, so we've already you click the use template button and now we're here click to access install tiller money feeds add-on so this is really where the magic happens with tiller and how it's able to connect to your bank accounts and how you're able to use some of their custom budgets and custom templates that they have here we want the template gallery all right and so it's got a link there okay so mine's already installed so yours will have a button here that says install and so you'll install it we're gonna click the extensions button here at the top and now we can scroll down to Tiller Money Feeds is what we want. We're going to launch that. So it's gonna pull up a little sidebar. All right, and here it's going to ask us to link your sheet with your Tiller console. That was the bank account information that you set up once you initially started your Tiller account. All right, and here's gonna ask you which accounts you wanna link. I'm gonna link all of them and confirm. You can see here it's loading new balances and new transactions because again, it connects automatically and it's gonna automatically download all of your transactions that you're using with your card. All right, so Tiller has added a lot of transactions for my account since 2019. It is, got just some insights and details here. All right, so I'm gonna look at three different tabs that are on here. I'm gonna look at transactions, categories, and your monthly budget. So your transactions is just a list of all of your transactions that Tiller has linked from all of your connected accounts. And so mine goes up through the day I'm, or a couple days ago um, from when I'm making this. It hasn't downloaded all of them from like yesterday or the day before, um, but it has them in here, the date, what, what I spent money on, how much money I spent, the account I use, all of those details and information. What you'll notice is this category section. And this is one of the coolest things about Tiller. Again, yes, you do have to put in a little money setting this up and throughout your month to update your monthly totals but it's way easier than entering all this into a spreadsheet yourself, which is actually what I do <laughs> because that's the system that I like and works for me. The next thing I wanna look at is your categories page. So once you get Tiller set up to this point, you're gonna to want to create custom categories for all the things that you spend money on or even that you save money on. So that would be step one once you get Tiller set up to this point. So you can change any of these to whatever you want them to be. Like for this gear and clothing, I'll just probably do clothes home improvement subscriptions. If you wanna do individual subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, gym memberships. Again, these are completely customizable, the categories, and you absolutely have to change these to what you spend money on. If you would like to put things into groups like bills, living expenses, entertainment, savings, retirement, you can do all of that work here. And you can see it gives some examples here, your primary income. Oh, you're gonna to wanna to have income in there for one of them. And then the type of category it is. So phone is an expense, utilities are an expense. Um, it gives you income, expense, and transfer. So if you are transferring money from one account to another, that would be a good one for that. 
And so you're going to, again, categorize each one of your expenses or income into one of those because these categories is what is going to show up in your transactions tab. So as we click this, it's gonna be all the different things that we have categorized on the categories tab will show up here. So whatever we have here on the categories will show up on this page and then we put them in that thing. So McDonald's is clearly a restaurant and then that will reflect into my monthly budget and my yearly budget as well. And then you've got this section here too, which is your monthly spending essentially allotment for each one of those. And so if you are, your phone bill is $150, you can put that in there for each of these months. And again, it is assuming then that your monthly budget for your phone is $150. If you put in a restaurant one of $150, it will assume that that is your budget for all of the months. You can also change these month by month. Um, but then that's where we're gonna get into the monthly budget section of your Tiller Money spreadsheet. The monthly budget tab that I've got pulled up here is where you're going to see your flow of income and expenses for each month. And you can see here, this is there are 99 categories that I need or transactions I need to categorize for this period. You can change your period here, your month and year. So if I wanted to switch this to June, which is the month that we're currently in, this is going to update from 99 down to 83. As I scroll down, I'm gonna point out a couple different things to you. Um, it's got our income, which again, this is gonna match up with our categories on our categories tab. Whatever we have here is gonna show up both in transactions and in your monthly budget. We saw that I had phone on there and that I had a budget of $150 for that, for the phone bill each month. Same with discretionary of uh, restaurants. So this is my budgeted amount column. This is the actual amount that I'm spending. So as I'm starting to categorize my transactions, let's do one, I've got this one. Let's say that I put this under phone. Say I put this under, these aren't actual real what they are, um, but I'm gonna put them on there. Okay, Subway was a restaurant. Once I go over to my monthly budget, now, I'm gonna see those reflected here. You can see some of those things updated. So I've got bills, I've got my phone, which is 150. My actual budget or amount that I spent so far on my phone is $70. My available balance that I have left is $79. You can see the same thing for restaurants that I've, according to those ones I just categorized, spent about $21 which means I have about $129 left. So this is a really great tool once you get your expenses and income categorized and you start to categorize the transactions on the transactions tab. Those are gonna to start to pop up here in your monthly budget and you're gonna be able to see if you're going over budget or on budget or are under budget. And the last thing I want to cover in this video is how much does Tiller cost? So first off, you get a 30 day free trial to tinker around, set up your categories and use their budget and use their software for 30 days, absolutely free. And then after that is $79 a year. So $79 a year comes down to about $6 and 50 cents a month. And this can absolutely transform the way you use money, the way you budget and help you really focus on your priorities and get so much more out of your money. Is Tiller money worth the cost? Absolutely, I without a doubt endorse Tiller money and think it's worth the cost especially with all the features that you saw in this video to help you download all your transactions automatically, easily categorize things and it automatically updates it in your budget. Those tools themselves, I think are worth the $79 a year. But ultimately what I really hope is that you find a budget, whether it's with Tiller or one of the other options I've mentioned that helps you save more money, decrease your spending and help you prioritize what you actually want to spend money on. Cause so I think that's the entire purpose of budgeting is finding ways to spend money on things you really care about and avoid all the spending on things that you really don't want to spend money on. Next up, I do have another video on Tiller that actually goes through a more specific job of showing you how to categorize all of your expenses, it goes into more depth and detail. So if you are wanting more information on Tiller, please check that video out. And I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.